Hey guys, welcome back to your channel Dr. Bethesi and I'm your dentist Dr. Jasmine. So in this video mein, we are going to talk about things you should do immediately after graduation because many people think you know, that we have been graduating, we have been studying since 5 years so let's enjoy and they uh, do not focus on their path and waste a lot of time. So there are uh, for you, I have listed down few things that you always and must do as soon as you graduate so guys first one is you should always make sure because we do not always know what we have to do but we can at least bring it down to the things that we are considering to do meaning you have to do you have to shortlist them you have to decide what all things you do not want to do for me it was going abroad i never want to go abroad to settle or practice dentistry there and i uh, never wanted to do an mds so that was for me no so i know ki, okay these are options not for me now let's see what else is there to do so this is the first one second one is guys before your internship ends before your college completes three months prior start searching for work or start anything apply everywhere i applied to 500 places and i never got a reply but i had the job um two days after my uh, graduation so and i took those two days because it was a weekend my graduation was on friday so saturday sunday i wanted to uh, have a weekend Sunday was my interview Monday was the joining so approx that was the scenario so uh, always start doing that because I learned how to make a resume that is the third one always have a resume ready um, before you apply and uh, the video how to make a resume or how to write an application to a government hospital for an honorary jrship or you know just to apply to work there i will list the links below and there are videos on it so that these are the three main things now comes the fourth the registration uh, you have to get registered to your own state council and it's very very simple it's hardly a five minute uh, online filling form procedure and you have to select the date and the slot or the time you will be appearing uh, or visiting the office there and then when you visit the office i would suggest a visit as early as possible as soon as it opens um, because then it's really quick uh, mine registration hardly took 10 to 15 minutes and then you get this kind of a card and uh, they also give you this kind of a certificate which should be framed and hanged uh, if you open your own setup that is really very important and always have at least five copies of the following documents of the 10th and the 12th certificate and mark sheet bds all mark sheet all the years internship completion certificate attempt or conduct you know the character certificate provisional degree and of course this registration these are five copies because most of the forms will be filling online but at least if you need to submit there so five copies it would be i can promise you i can guarantee you that these five copies won't go waste so it will be utilized be get it ready have a passport size at least of 20 25 photographs with you the latest ones because we you know keep on using those 12th classes and uh, i still uh, i still remember in few of the colleges or hospitals i applied that one so it's uh, it's horrible because we have changed we have grown so uh, get yourself a new picture clicked and it's very simple you can do it at home all you need will be getting the printout you can what you can do is when you apply online they uh, ask for your photograph so have a white wall background have yourself clicked with any camera and then on on like online there are various various websites available for you know passport making thing and they uh, click and they crop and they put the borders and everything is ready made you just have to if it's online it's perfect but if it's like you have to submit the courier or the you have to get the form couriered then it's best that you get them printed i guess it's usually 25 or 24 copies for 100 rupees so get those done guys always have a batch like 
uh, we this is my badge a simple badge it doesn't mention anything except my name um, because it's really confusing we will be mds we will be bds general surgeon or anything so it's better to get a simple badge it can be like a very easily available 40 50 rupees hardly um, like different options are available on white um, background you want to get the black or on black thing you want to get the white so it totally depends on you and apron you uh, you know i got three aprons uh, like in the first year for whole of the five years and i got a full sleeves apron for on the third year on the white coat ceremony so i had four aprons uh, three of them were spoiled one because of holy and one is because uh, i have kept it safe because you know on the last day we used to scribble on our apron coats white coats so that one and other two you know while working in the prostho lab or any other labs it got of course it can't be weared in a clinic so if you have one apron that can be reused it's awesome um, otherwise just get one uh, new one another thing that you can do is buy these cute little smileys or some batches with funny coats or something you know to hang around here and here you can give it to your one of the pedo patients or it's just look cool it's just look you know you de no need to be afraid of a dentist that kind of a vibe appears also you can make your visiting card I also had made one um, but now I can't use it because um, and all the details all the social media links all the emails or the phone number are changed so uh, also I've kept that one aside because it's my first visiting card um, and also um, you must get not more than 50 copies because initially it won't be of any such use but yeah it, it looks cool it's look uh, professional also you can get yourself a stamp what happened was a neighbor visited me because she needed a doctor sign for some documents so she said if you had a stamp and for the first time i realized oops i don't have a stamp so what you can do is doctor your full name and below that your registration number for example a 100123 or whatever it is so and uh, you can just put it you know like this and so what happens is in Acharya Bhikshu government hospital or in any government hospital we usually put stamps so the paid JR uh, definitely has a stamp of his own because the college or the hospital name is mentioned his name is mentioned his like junior resident is written uh, for the honoraries it's a common stamp like honorary uh, junior resident and the uh, hospital or the college name is written and we have to put our different signs suppose there are 10 honorees there so different signs we used to put it on our own and guys before you get you know packed up and uh, continue your after college journey make sure you have all the instruments at least one pair with you uh, so that because it's definitely needed when you set up your own clinic and it's definitely can be helpful in various workshop or courses you attend so one pair should be must and if you have extra pair of course pass on to your juniors as you got it from your seniors pass on the legacy everybody needs help regarding the registration guys you have few doubts uh, that if one is registered in one state they, can they practice in another state of course they can because when you are a doctor you will you might be getting consultations all over india so that doesn't mean if you're uh, if i am in delhi i have the delhi dental council i can't uh, visit kerala or i can't practice there of course you can anywhere in india but it's just that if there is a vacancy of jobs for uh, you know different have different age groups and eligibility criteria and if you're eligible but you do not have that state registration then you might not be able to to apply however different hospitals have different uh, like criteria we have to see which hospitals ask for all over India because most of them also do uh, so you just have to uh, focus on that and it's not that you can't practice in other states if you are not registered in that state and renew is must like my this is valid up to 31st uh, December 2022 so I have to get it renewed and it's a must because otherwise we are working as if quacks because we are not registered under the council for them we are not a dentist then so we must renew it when required and uh, while you register for the council it charges about 
I guess at my time three to four thousand was something the charge. And suppose you get into a government hospital as a DR or you join somewhere, but you are not registered in that state till the interview. What you can do is you can you know write an application or what we say is like do the undertaking that you will get your uh, registration transferred to the other state uh, as soon as possible or within three to six months. So that is also one option that can be done and also guys all the standard books that you have bought for your own you must keep that with yourself because standard books will always be handy and uh, if you do not have the other books it's okay because most of them are now available in the pdf or the ebooks form also guys degree uh, each college uh, has its own protocols and some uh, like give within three to six months or some give after one year or maybe two years the final degree so uh, your other work can be fulfilled with the provisional degree but make sure you get your hands on your final degree and get this work completed as soon as possible um, because uh, talk to your college people uh, how you used to get the degree because in my college um, we have to take it from uh, the affiliated university that was uh, the Chaudhary Charan Singh University Merit. So uh, there was a bhaiya in our college who used to you know usually uh, go there for some official works we used to give him just the basic money which already if we used to go would be the travel expense so he used to take a minimal uh, like the amount and everything uh, would be we used to send him like the name and everything and he used to just bring it back and we have to take it from him to so make sure everything is completed because these are the basic and most people waste their time I can guarantee you this my friends uh, my batchmates did waste their time regarding this uh, so please do not make such mistakes and when you have this you are like totally uh, all prepared to enter the real world of dentistry and all ready to face what exactly the world will bring to you. So guys see you in the next video and recently I shared on Instagram uh, like what topics do you want guys in the next coming videos. So let me know in the comment section or anywhere you want to message and I will make sure that it's on the list or if how that topic can be discussed. So see you in another video. Stay safe, take care and bye bye.